And every day, I practice martial arts. <laughs> there also was a, a lawsuit at the time. I don't know. Uh, you, you mentioned it in your book, something about uh, Yip, yeah, Yip Chun, the son of Yip Man, had uh, said yeah. something about Bruce Lee, and then Bruce Lee was going to sue him in the paper. And then, uh, but, you know, after his death, obviously, that was his own. Can, can you talk a little bit about that real quick? Oh, yeah. So that's a, a funny story. So uh, Bruce Lee initially, like all, most celebrities don't realize that the press builds you up for the purpose of later tearing you down. Um, that's the only two stories they tell, which is like, whoa, this amazing new thing. And oh, this jaded jerk who doesn't care about anything but himself. Um, and so his ascent was so rapid in the first year in Hong Kong that within like 18 months, the press had turned on him. And so they started looking for stories uh, to talk about what was negative about him. And they got to Yip Chun, who said something because the Wing Chun students were annoyed at Bruce Lee for starting his own style. Yip Chun talked a little smack on Bruce. Right. And uh, basically saying he wasn't that good as a teenager in Wing Chun, which, to be fair, is probably true, because as you and I have discussed privately, Bruce didn't start studying. We don't I don't think he started studying Wing Chun until he was 16. Uh, so by the time he left at 18 or 19 for America, he wasn't an advanced student in Wing Chun. Uh, so at any rate, uh, Bruce read it in the newspaper, and this was like the final straw, one of his own, you know, Wing Chun brothers stabbing him in the back. So he went to Wing Chun, he went to Yip Chun and basically got in his face, and Yip Chun uh, backed down and was like, oh, no, 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 it was the reporter, I didn't say any of these things. Right, right. Uh, uh, and then Bruce Lee went into the office <laughs> of the newspaper and basically threatened to beat the shit out of the editor. Um, and, uh, and so at that point, uh, they, they printed more stuff saying, you know, Bruce Lee, the bully star who thinks he's better than everyone. Uh, and so Bruce decided to sue them and filed a lawsuit. Um, and the, I, Andre, Andre Morgan actually said that Bruce's feeling was if he didn't sort of draw a line somewhere, this would continue, um, but unfortunately, it just the the lawsuit made it worse. And once he died, uh, Linda dropped the lawsuit because she, you know, she realized there was no, yeah. it, there was nothing to it. Um, well, it's also funny too. I can imagine Bruce would be part. Well, first of all, I mean, I'm sure there's tons of people who can say Matt Polly. I remember him from the Shaolin Temple. He wasn't that good, right? Uh, Meanwhile, right. you've gone on to to win an MMA fight, right? And so I think a lot of times people will, you know make some statement about the person you were 20 years ago as if somehow that's, that's right. like a life sentence or whatever. Um, but also very curious in that particular instance is that um, Yip, Yip Chun was not even living in Hong Kong at the time that Bruce Lee was learning from <laughs> from his father. I mean, Yip Chun did not come to Hong Kong until about the mid early to mid 60s. And Bruce had already been in the States for a number of years at that time. So the, the question is always, oh, well, so you, you saw that I wasn't too good as a teenager, but you weren't even here. How did that how did that even they happen? Right. Didn't even meet at that point. Right. No, no. I don't think they would have met until much later, but yeah. may, maybe had met him at Bruce some Lee point. But at him. Yeah. So I, yeah, and what you can tell though is they're clearly and and as you know as a martial artist, we're all we're all very proud and we're all petty. <laughs> and yes. So, yes. Uh, and so Yip Chun sat around with all the other Wing Chun guys, and they were like, "I knew Bruce when he was 16, and he sucked, and I kicked <laughs> his butt." Right. And so Yip Chun repeated what someone had said to sure. him to a reporter, sure. and then got called out and tried to get away from it because Bruce Lee was a scary dude. By the yeah. time he was thirty-two, like you didn't want to fight Bruce Lee. Yeah. So, um, and and that was the sort of point is that whatever he was at seventeen, he was a great martial artist. By the time he he became a star. Word is I'm a kung fu genius. Technique speaks for me, not lineage. Forget Jet Li, cause I'm the one. Many call me seafood, but to you I'm sea kung and I produce